Poco X2 becomes first Poco phone to get MIUI 12 update in India, Times of India to view the full article, click the first link in the description below, Berlin The news that children in Berlin would return to classrooms last spring caught me and my husband by surprise. Like parents across the world, we were very concerned about anyone in our family getting or spreading the coronavirus. We knew people who had secretly organized play dates and flouted the rules during the months we were supposed to be isolating, but we had followed the rules scrupulously. We wore masks, kept our distance from our parents, and even, when playgrounds reopened on April 30th, resisted returning to them, despite our younger son's pleas. At first, we were surprised by the authorities' insistence that children return to school. I tried to read as much as I could to help me stay calm. When I learned about a leading group of German pediatricians who supported the idea of children, especially young ones, returning to school, largely for their mental well-being, I was persuaded. I could tell that my sons, Hugo, 8, and Bruno, 3, were suffering in many small ways from the lack of contact with other kids and from the insularity of our new way of life. The Berlin Senate stipulated that schools could only allow children to return with very strict hygiene and social distancing measures in place. Each school, however, was responsible for implementing its own safety rules as long as they aligned with the Senate's guidelines. At that time, there had been about 5,400 COVID-19 infections in Berlin and 112 deaths. Berlin The news that children in Berlin would return to classrooms last spring caught me and my husband by surprise like parents across the world. We were very concerned about anyone in our family getting or spreading the coronavirus to view the full article, click the first link in the description below.